In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Learn Worlds and Webinar Kit. So let's say you're using Learn Worlds as an online course platform and here every time there's a new user who has either purchased the platform or you have created a new user. So the same user should be created as a new registrant on Webinar Kit, which is an auto webinar solution. So now this can be done by integrating these two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Learn Worlds and your action application would be Webinar Kit. Now, how can you automate this process and do this yourself? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. So, as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on the sign up tab. It will not take more than two minutes and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in and here we are going to reach all applications page. Again, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on Access Now. Once we do that, we have reached the dashboard of this application. Here on the right hand side, you can see a tab Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And as we do that, a dialog box has appeared right in front of us, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is to integrate Learn Worlds with Webinar Kit. So I'm going to name it as Integrate Learn Worlds with webinar kit and now i'm going to click on create as we do that we have reached another window which has got two very important events one is trigger another one is action triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works trigger is when this happens and action is do this basically action is the response of your trigger application so here my trigger application would be learn worlds. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. Trigger event is the event that will make your workflow start. Here I'm going to select user is registered or updated. So here our objective is every time a new user is registered on this learn worlds platform. So automatically this user with this user, a new registration should be created on webinar kit. Basically a new user as a registrant should be created on webinar kit. So here we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge between the two applications, learn worlds and Pabli connect. I'm going to copy this and then we have to follow the following steps. First, we have to log into our Learn Worlds account and then we are going to go to settings, developers and webhook. So I'm going to show you how exactly we have to do this. So I've already logged into my Learn Worlds account. This is my Learn Worlds account. And here you can see settings. Let's click on this. Then we have to go to developers. So let's go on to this and then we can see webhooks. Once click here, you have to go to when a user is registered or updated. So once you are here, you will click on activate. As soon as you do that here, you can see URL address. So I'm going to paste this URL over here. And once done, we have to click on save. As soon as we do that, let's click on send dummy data. So now we are going to go back to public connect. And here you can see that as soon as we have done send dummy data, so we have received this dummy data but we are supposed to receive a genuine response here so i'm going to click on recapture webhook response let's click on yes so here to register a user i have opened this particular url in an incognito account so this is pabliconnect.mylearnworlds.com now i'm going to click on register for free and here a small form has appeared where we have to fill in the information so let's say the name here is pab dear demo and then we have the email address. So it is dear demo at pablitudes.com. So just to be on the safer side, I'm going to write two numbers. Then we have the password. So you have to write any six digits or seven digits. Next, we have the mobile number. So let's say it is 9112345678910. Once done, we are going to click on start your journey. So here you can see that uh, we have already created this user here. If I take you here to users, so basically you can see this left hand uh, bar 
So I'm going to click on users and once I'm here and uh, if I refresh this page once. So here you can see that dear demo is the new user that we have just created. Now I'm going to go back to public connect and see if we have received the API response. So see here we have received the API response. The email address is dear demo 12 at publicjudge.com. Then we have the mobile number and as we go down here we have the username. So now I want that every time there's a new user registered on our Learn Worlds platform. So the same user should be created as a new registrant on Webinar Kit. So my next application here would be Webinar Kit. Let's go and look for Webinar Kit. Here it is. And now I'm going to click on action event here. My action event would be new webinar reg registration. Let's click on connect. Now here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Webinar Kit account. Let's click on add new connection and here to set up this connection we require this token. For this we will have to first log in to our Webinar Kit account and here we have the profile icon and under it we have settings. Let's click on this. As we do that we are going to scroll down and look for the API access. Here it is and I'm going to now copy this private API key go back to Public Connect and paste it over here as a token. So once done let's click on save to set up this connection here you can see that the connection has been set up and here we need to map this information where uh, we have webinar ID, email address, name etc. Now to understand what is our webinar ID I'm again going to take you to webinar kit account and as I take you up here I've already created a webinar which is webinar on video marketing. So going back to Public Connect here, I'm going to write webinar for video marketing. This is my webinar ID. Then we have the email address. For this, you will have to map the data. So this is our learn worlds and this is the email address. And then we have the first name. Now the thing is that we have received our uh, information of name in um, a single row and not two separate rows like first name and last name. So for this, I have to add another action step here which is a feature by Pabli known as text formatter. Let's click on this and now the action event here would be split text. Let's click on connect. Once done here we have to map the text that we need to split. So this is name. I'm looking for name here. This is dear demo. Now the separator here I want it to be separated with the space that is the in between dear and demo. So I'm going to write space in between double curly braces. Then we have the segment. So I want all the segments. I want the first name and last name both. So let's click on this and click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received our data in the desired format. Going back to webinar kit, I'm again going to click on this connect and this time I'm going to go along with the existing connection. And now the first name. So going to the second step, this is our first name. Last name here again going to the second step, this is our last name. Then the country code, phone number, you can provide all this information. It is not mandatory right now. If I take you down here, you can see the webinar presentation date. Now remember that you will ask for registrations maybe a month before or 15 days before. But the webinar presentation date is going to remain static. It will not change. So here I'm going to write this date in this particular format which is given here. I'm going to paste it over here and now I'm going to change the date as per what is my uh, what is the date of my webinar. So this is let's say it is uh, 11th of September. So I'm going to write 11. Now we have the time so it is not 0 to it is 12 and it is known so it is double zero. So once we are done with this then the full date again we are going to map this information to the help desk. So I'm going to paste it over here. This is not Wednesday, this is Sunday and it is September. Then we have the, then we have the day which is 11th and what is the time? Here it is 12.00 which is 12 noon done. So I'm going to now click on save and send test request. 
So as soon as we have done that, here we can see that the status has been cleared, which means that now the same user would be created on Webinar Kit account. Going to Webinar Kit, let's click on this, go to View Analytics. And if I take you down here, you can see that these are the different registrants and going down again, this is the registrant that we have just created, which is Dear Demo 12 at Pavlitudes.com. The first name is Dear, the last name is Demo. So which basically means that this process is successful, but we also need to check it in real time. So now I'm again going to go back to Learn Worlds and here I'm going to create a new user. Remember that to fill in another entry first, you will have to sign out. As soon as you do that, here you can see that you can again register for free. Let's click on this and this time I'm going to write another name which is King1112. And the last name here is name. Then we have the email address. So let's say it is King1112 at pablitudes.com. Then we have the password, let's say it is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have the mobile number. And now I'm going to click on start your learning journey. So again, here you can see that the user has been created. So here, if I'm, if I'll just refresh this page, so you can see that King1112 name has been created. And as soon as this user is created over here, the same user should be created as a registrant on our webinar kit. So going to our webinar kit over here. So these are the names and I'm just going to refresh this page once. And if I take you down here, you can see that the same person has been now registered on webinar kit. So this basically means that this entire process was a success. Now we are going to quickly check and understand exactly what was the process. So this is an extremely easy two step integration process where we had chosen a feature by Pabli, which is text formatter. So your trigger application was learn worlds and your trigger event was user is registered or updated. Then your trigger action or uh, action application was webinar kit and action event was new webinar registration. Here to have the name in first name and last name format, we had chosen text formatter by Pabli to split the text. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflows which is given in the video description and also at the same time, you can visit all the videos which are there on YouTube so that you can get a lot of help. Also, you can clone the same workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice for us, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.